Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today we're going to take a look at the topic, what are you grateful for? Or what is there to be grateful for? Something like this. And the reason this topic comes about is because this week I was reading a community post by one of my favorite tarot card readers. And on that community post, she it was such a lovely post. She's so amazing and the work she does is amazing. I love all the tarot readers out there. I learn so much from every single person that I watch. And yeah, on this community post, she basically said that she's been getting quite a bit of negativity in the comments and things like that. And that really made me reflect on my audience here and how incredibly lucky I am that you guys are just so amazing. I've got like the best audience here. There's never any negativity in the comments in my videos. And you're welcome though to express what's going on in your life and share the negativity in your life. But what I'm very grateful for is that people don't, you know, people seem to like what's going on here. So I'm just grateful for that. And I just thought, you know, this gives me an opportunity to express that to all of you that, you know, thank you for being an amazing person in this small audience and I just love doing these videos. I also have this experience on my master's episodes and I love making those. I've never had any negativity there. I've just had supportive comments and people enjoying the strange creativity that's going on there and, and that's just awesome guys. I want to thank you for supporting me in, in both of these places here on Pick a Card and in the master's episodes as well. In the big monthly, you know, I do get uh, negativity and, and various things and that's okay, you know, it's, it's the internet, there's going to be all kinds of things going on out there. So I totally understand that. That's, that's perfectly fine. But here we've got such a fantastic space. I just wanted to say I'm grateful to each and every one of you. So today you can choose your cup of love. What would you like? Would you like group one, Ace of Cups, would you like group two, Ace of Cups, or group three, Ace of Cups. Choose your reading and I'll see you there. Hi there, group one. If you chose group number one, then you are in the right place. Let's shuffle and see what's going on. I'm actually going to put this back in because who knows, maybe you will draw the Ace of Cups again. I think it was last week that, oh, and by the way, we're going to choose a card from this Art Oracles deck. This is fantastic. I'm using this for the first time, everyone. So this is something new. But yeah, I think last time in your reading, didn't we have that situation where something from the bottom of the deck, I drew it again. So that was pretty cool. I think it happened in group three as well. All right, let's take a look here with the art oracles. What comes? And I think, am I going to shuffle them all at once? Let's see what happens. I'm not even sure. <laughs> I hope you're having a good week wherever you are in the world. Here it's absolutely freezing cold. It's rainy, it's cold. And yeah, it's um, it's not how it should be. It's kind of weird. Like we've had so much rain. Oh, and anyone in it's Florida, isn't it? I hope everybody's okay. Uh, sending my healing energy, love and light and everything that I can to anyone who's in some part of the world that's going through a lot of difficulty right now. I mean, yeah, I'm just kind of complaining about a cold day, but there are some pretty intense parts of the world right now. Things aren't great everywhere. So, oh, let's take it. Strength. Yeah, strength. Isn't that interesting? So we all need a bit of strength sometimes. All right, let's see. And then am I going to draw the, I will draw the other cards. We're going okay on time here. I tried last week to do the whole, let's look at some cards early, <laughs> but it doesn't work with me. I think it's better that I just draw them all at once. 
and then I think there's something about it's like the flow is unbroken or something. I don't know. The energy energy is better when I just draw them all at once. And I have thought about going back to pre-shuffled cards, but I quite like doing them live. And one of you did write a comment saying that you like the sound of the shuffling. And there might be, a, I think there could be something relaxing in that as well. I quite like it too. Oops. Okay. Yep, let's take it. What is it? Ooh, where's that going to go? <laughs> let's put it in the middle. Because it is the Wheel of Fortune. All right, well, we have two on the table already. So let's see what we can see. So one of the things that you have to be grateful for is your own inner strength, which I would say you have an abundance of. Okay, so you're an incredibly strong person. And I'm going to say most of the time, there might be some areas in life or things that, you know, you feel weak around or you don't feel strong in those areas, but we've all got that. We've all got something that we are making stronger or some area in our lives that we're making stronger or, or you know, so is there any weakness? Maybe not. Maybe that's just an area that you are consciously strengthening up or improving or and you and you go easy on yourself because you know that it's going to take time. Wheel of Fortune. So something's it's like the wheel's going to turn. The wheel is going to turn. Something is going to change in your world. Let's take a look and see what we've got here. All right, we've got Frida. Carlo, I think that's her name. Convalescence lasts a lifetime. You don't spell painting without pain. Ooh, that's interesting. Art is your most loyal companion. Yeah, I love that. Externalize your internal world. Brilliant. So it's like express. It's interesting the camera went funny there too. Express express your emotions bring them into the light of day externalize your internal world i do think this is about expression expression through art having the strength to be your authentic self in front of everyone all that beautiful stuff Ooh, love it golden palace wow again a new moon something new golden palace maybe you're going to travel maybe you're going to go somewhere beautiful that's quite dreamy isn't it okay nice let's see what else we have page of cups lovely the magician fantastic that's a great card. And this is always such a fantastic card because the magician is a kind of master of all the elements. So we've got a sword, we've got a cup, we've got a pentacle and she's holding a wand there. We've also got the same infinity symbol that should be above, yes, the head of what's here in the strength card. You're infinitely creative, you're infinitely strong. You have a lot of things to be grateful for. These are inner gifts. These are inner gifts that you, that have nothing to do with words. And I've been looking at this a lot with, um, with the work of Eckhart Tolle. He says that people get attached to the pointer, the finger pointing to the moon. But he's like, no, the, the moon is the beautiful thing. The experience of the thing is what's amazing right so your inner world is very rich you've got two major arcana here as well there's a lot a lot of golden stuff within you to express to share to give and that's the excitement of life giving what you have that's that's what love is 
when you give the good stuff that's inside you and you share that with people, that's, that's wonderful. Okay, great. So let's see what these last two cards are. Okay, we've got the King of Swords. And he is very much a master of speech, speaking, thoughts. He's a brilliant speaker. Okay. What else do we have? Wow, death, far out. Okay. Do you know, I'm actually really happy to see this because group one, you have for the longest time always been getting the Ten of Wands or the Two of Pentacles or the, you know, the Hanged Man or this kind of thing. You, you have always been getting these kind of cards. And I'm actually really weirdly glad to see this because this means something is over, something is done in your life. And you've got kind of two new moons here. We, I'm going to see this as a little bit of a new moon, Page of Cups. This is this is some new beginning in love. This is some new beginning in your heart space. This is, you know, you're starting to feel ready to, to head out there again, maybe, and, and meet people and do things and create new things with people. And that's so wonderful. We've got a new moon here, the Golden Palace. This is, I'm seeing this is all the gold that's within you. I'm seeing all that you have to express because this card is very much you hear about expression externalize your internal world art is your most loyal companion absolutely take what's been hidden within you and bring it out into the light of day wonderful And the King of Swords, this is really, this is such a strong card. This is the intellect. This is, this is a person who thinks beautifully. But who's maybe shy to share. And I think that's what this Page of Cups is. There's a shyness maybe, or... A fear of what other people will say, a fear of what like one's parents will say, because this is like established King of Swords type people. This is senior people in your work, the players are around you, or, you know, if I express my true self or if I do my art or if I do my thing, what are people going to say? There could be a bit of a fear of that. And maybe this death card is symbolizing that you're not going to care like it's the death of caring about what they think let's have a couple of clarifiers so we'll take one from this Vedic astrology deck let's see so what do I want to clarify what's the death card about let's see what it's about what is what is closed off or what is changing in your world now or what has died? What has come to an end? And remember, this is a gratitude reading. So you have a lot to be grateful for. You've even got potentially, yeah, you've got, well, you've got gratitude for, you know, thank God this thing's clearing out of my life or whatever it is, right? Maybe it's something like that. Oh, Saturn in the first. Let's take a look. Oh, and Rahu in the fourth. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I was not expecting any of that. And that glue here I'm thinking this could be a clarifier for that let's see I wanted one for this so this is satin in the first we've got here challenged by authority health issues matures fast is very disciplined excels as a judge or lawyer loyal spouse or a mature spouse okay hmm the death card I think you're being given an opportunity to reinvent yourself. Okay, Saturn in the first is very much focusing on you, your physical life, your physical body, all these kind of things. We do have a page of cups. If you are single, you could be attracting someone new or something like that. So that's great. And if you are with someone, perhaps they're going to mature. And it could be that this thing that's closing out could be something closing out in your heart space that's enabling you both to take a step up 
and to grow and to mature. So this is fantastic. Okay, so that's great. Liking that. And this I think is here. So what do we have here? Rahu in the fourth. Keeps few friends, has foreign born mother or stepmother, patriot. Can't concentrate on just one thing, might frequently move house. Okay, let's have a look here with the King of Swords. I'll take another one because nothing is springing to mind straight away there. So I'll take one more here. Could possibly be changes right now in home life. In your love life, it is, it is kind of being indicated here that maybe changes in love life, in home life, something coming to an end, you being sharp, you being wise for yourself, you know, looking after yourself. Boundaries, swords, often boundaries, boundary work. Maybe some boundaries are needed at home or in relationship with mother or family, people around you. Let's take a clarifier for this. <laughs> right, Knight of Swords, okay. Yep, so we're, universe is saying more of the same. Let's have a look here. What's the quote though? We've got, there is no genius without a mixture of madness. Yeah, Aristotle, that is a bit Rahu in the fourth. And I think, I'm kind of getting the guidance that that, that could be, well, this is something about embracing your weirdness, I would say. And that's kind of linking in with the art stuff and that you must express what it is that's going on. Interesting, we, we've got these two dark blue kind of cards here as well, which is sort of indicating the need for discipline right now, the need for structure in the life, discipline. These are good things for you right now as well. Also that to think long-term, to plan long-term, to move slowly, nothing's gonna happen in a rush at the moment. But there, there has definitely been a shift here for group one. So any regular group one people, you should be feeling really good because um, there's definitely been some improvement here, which is great. I'm gonna take two for each group because I think there's just 12 left and I wanna, Extend the jar for as long as possible. All right, let's see what we've got here. Someone said, the version of me you created in your mind is not my responsibility. Master of self, yeah, and that is really interesting here with what I said about you reinventing yourself. And that there's gonna be all kinds of versions of who you were stuck in other people's minds. And who you are now might be very different. And especially with Rahu in the fourth and you embracing your creativity or your weirdness or whatever that is, like, that's great. Okay, fantastic. What do we have in here? The card is about to run out. Oh, yeah, this is sweet. See, all women as mothers, serve them as your mother. When you see the entire world as the mother, the ego falls away. Neem Karoli Baba. Yeah, that's so beautiful. And we've got here this Rahu in the fourth, which is about mother, okay? And I did mention mother earlier. So this is a really important quote. See all women as mothers, serve them as your mother. And this is really about love. And it's very much about, and it's very much about gratitude for your mother. Because remember how we entered this reading is through the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is, you know, it's water, it's love, it's mother, it's all that beautiful stuff. So you have a lot to be grateful for, group number one. Even if, let's say, for example, you've been going through challenges in relationship with mother or any of that. Because we do have a Knight of Swords here, we do have a King of Swords here, we've got the fourth house there. So maybe there have been some arguments with Mother as well, it's possible, but take a step back and see that you've got a huge amount to be grateful for in your life. 
So group number one, I hope this has been a good reading for you. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number two. If you chose group number two then you are in the right place. Now before we shuffle from here we're going to take one of these new art oracles. I'll show you the box because it's so cool and shiny. Um, yeah so this is something new. <laughs> I've got another couple of decks arriving but don't tell my mum because <laughs> she'll be she's like you buy too many cards and it's like well now I'm designing my own so I have to buy my own ones. I've got one of my own arriving and I think a couple more as well so it's pretty exciting. It's exciting stuff. Okay let's let's shuffle a bit more. It wants more shuffling. Fine. How are you group two? I hope you're doing well wherever you are. I'll take one of these. I think I am going to shuffle them all at once. I tried last week the whole shuffle and reveal a bit earlier. I don't know it just didn't it didn't work for me. I think this way kind of works for me. And some of you have mentioned that you like a bit of shuffle time at the beginning. Also you get to see that I really am just literally picking these out as I go. I used to do them pre-picked but I think it is more fun when it's just live. And that's Leo energy. Leo or fifth house, it's chance, it's spare of the moment, spontaneous, you don't know what's going to happen next. So we didn't know that was going to pop out but it wants to be here. Right, I love all that. Okay, let's have one of these, three of these and then we're good to go. I hope you're having a good week wherever you are. It is freezing cold down under. Oh by the way if anyone's in Florida or a part of the world where things aren't good um, my heart goes out to you and yeah I hope everyone's doing okay. I'm not very I, I don't really watch the news but sometimes on my YouTube dashboard things will pop up and I get some news these days from um, Ralph Smart <laughs> his channel. Oh and Russell Kane of course, that's where I get all my English news from. Ooh, mm, let's take that one but we'll put these back in. Okay, right let's go, let's see what's going on. All right, so three of wands, you're looking out to the horizon. What's next? Maybe you're, you're checking out the waves that are coming in. Are there any good waves to catch? Ah, yeah one of my friends loves this, uh, this artist. Yayoi Kusama, your soul is composed of the same dots as the universe. Wow. Distinguish yourself from your mirror image. Show them your hallucinations. <laughs> yeah, cool. She's great. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Coming to life. This is wonderful. What's that? It's like a what maybe you were a sculpture but now you are you are coming to life. That's stunning. We've got a butterfly so the transformation has happened. You're shining your light. You are you're more you than you've ever been. Perhaps it's like and it's like shedding an old layer of skin as well. But gosh, the sculpture that becomes alive, that's incredible. Well, you've definitely got that to be grateful for. If you're not experiencing it now, this is what is coming, definitely. Eight of Pentacles, you're working hard, yeah. Yep, working hard at your craft, doing a great job. Whoops. The Empress, fantastic. Wow. It is quite interesting how they've got the, the world here. It's kind of like the world card here in the Empress and we've got the moon as well. Amazing. 
Six of Pentacles, good. And it's interesting that that comes with the Eight of Pentacles. I do think there's something to be grateful for regarding your work. It was funny, when I first looked at that Eight of Pentacles card, I was thinking, like, if you're in work, that, that itself is in itself is something to be very grateful for at this time because so many people are losing their jobs all around. Um, you know, I'm hearing that through clients and some of my friends that, yeah, people are, you know, work is changing for a lot of people. Oh, wow, and you've got the Ace of Cups. Amazing. Gosh, the Empress and the Ace of Cups, that's incredible. Wow. And the death card in the same spot as what we just had in group one. Wow. What's going on here, group two? This is pretty amazing. All right. You've, well, you've definitely closed out some kind of massive cycle that's leading to an incredible renewal coming to life. I do get a sense that like, because she is ready to give birth. She's ready to birth something new. But it's this three of wands that's kind of making me hmm, want some more information. Because there's so much energy here. And we've got this incredible artist, but do you know, she's quite a bit senior, isn't she, this artist? She's not young. I think her fame has taken a long time to come. Her fame and success, like the rewards for all the work which, you know, she, she is now very established, but that she would have gone through a long period of time, I think. I don't know this for sure, but I'm kind of sensing that it took her a long time to get to where she is. And it feels like where you are right now is that you have, yep, you've shed a layer of the skin, you're, you're coming more to life, you have so much to give the world. You're working, you're busy, and there is something just and fair and good. There is something in your workplace to be grateful for, definitely, right now, or the stepping stone that you're on right now, or the place where you are right now. There's something very good about it. But it's like, it's here, your eyes are here. It's like, See, where do you want to go? <laughs> where are you looking? What are you looking at on the horizon? What's out there? Because there it does seem there's a lot to be grateful for in the here and now for you. So there is a lot that's really good that you're going to build on. Okay. And, and feeling the fullness of that, which I think you do. And I think that has helped you to close out a cycle because You've done the work of feeling good where you are and accepting where you are. You're doing that work. It's closing out a cycle. It's giving you more of you, more like, yeah, fresh skin kind of thing. I don't know. Like, it's like the statue is coming off and you're going to be more you and more free and more able and more expanded but what are you looking there's it's like there's a it's maybe a tiny dissatisfaction or a, you're looking somewhere else where are you looking all right that's made itself quite clear let's take that one mercury in the second house okay oh, it's not focusing earns through public speaking or finance logic built on teachings of family lineage Religious, philosophical, becomes rich, shrewd with money, thrifty. Okay, so that's good. Yeah. I want another one. Mm. 
You might be looking out to the future, looking at the stability and security of your life and your family's life, which is good. A lot of people are doing that right now. Venus in the 10th house. Interesting. This is quite a career focused reading. Uh, yeah, career focused, loves approval from authority, father or seniors, achieves high ranking positions, does well in real estate, business, social work. I, I just had the word impatience. There might be a little bit of an impatience here as to things aren't happening fast enough because these are fast planets right and but that's okay <laughs> you know that's that's pretty typical we all have that feeling of it's not happening fast enough <laughs> you know it's like i'm doing all this work which you are and you are earning and the rewards are coming in but it's like you know you can do so much better and you're just wondering when's it going to happen and that's why when we've got her here yeah because it took her time to do and build what she built so there's something about time being needed. You know, let's take, let's take another one of, yeah, let's take another one of these. So let's see this thing, okay, that you're doing something about it taking time. Actually, let's, let's clarify her with one of these. Yayoi Kusama. Yayoi Kusama is here and I'm getting the sense that she's telling us that these things take time. Ooh, three of wands again. Oh yeah, this is it. Look at this quote. Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. Seneca, sun in Aries. Yeah, she took she took time. With this incredible yellow color and this is really one of her colors. Look at that handbag she's holding. She uses exactly colors like this and she created her own luck oh that's not focusing why not come on focus there we go luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity you're in a preparation phase and this is what abraham hicks talks about getting ready to be ready to be ready like you've got to be ready so and you're being ready and you're preparing and you're getting ready and you're doing a great job and you're, you're going to create your own luck. Because look at all of this wealth and abundance. The Empress, the Ace of Cups. That is just, I mean, when you have these two, life is at its best. And you're not, you, you know, you're not, you have no time to be watching tarot readings or consulting in astrology because life is just too good and you're enjoying it too much. And that time always goes quickly <laughs> we always move through that really fast because that's fun and that's venus and mercury we've got all these kind of fast energies here that's really interesting there's no not much saturn here we do have death here that's good though because it's it's a clear out there's quite a bit of clear out happening i think across the board we'll see what happens in group three but this is really interesting so you're in a, in a big preparation sort of a phase I think you do know where you're going three of wands twice this is about I mean if this if you're looking for what do I do be strategizing be th planning and thinking where do you want to go and make the goal high make it big if you think you can go here try and make your goal higher I think yeah I can I can do better than that because you're not just going to be stuck here for the rest of your life right in this in, and I'm, I'm, look, the job that you have is probably great, like it is. There's, there's a lot to be grateful for, but it, there is, it's twice we've got three of wands that, okay, I'm going. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Good energy, group two. You're on your way. And I, I feel like there's kind of, I think you're doing an amazing job is what I'm seeing. And that you have a lot to be grateful for right now even though you want to go beyond it because you've got all of this inside right the empress the ace of cups all the great stuff right <laughs> so you've got all of that it's coming to life and it's gradual another thing statue that's the presence of saturn look saturn's in this corner here saturn's here with death you know kind of moving through and saturn is the statue as well statue stone took ages to build it 
right? But you are breaking through and these fast moving energies are just shining through. It just can't help it. You just, you, you know, you have to break free. You have to be you. Amazing. Oh, wow. This is great. Distance will tell you the real meaning of closeness. Buddha quotes. Yeah. And that can be, that can be the three of wands. You are missing somebody. They're far away. You know, it can be that kind of thing. Yeah. Let's have a look at this one. The time is about to run out. I can see it says 15 minutes. All right. Doesn't matter. I'll just read it. If it cuts out, it's fine. Signs of a high vibration. One, animals feel safe with you. Two, people stare at you in public. Three, random strangers tell you their life stories. Yes, that happens to me all the time. Uh, four, the energy of a room shifts when you walk in. Five, you irritate toxic people just by being your true self. Absolutely. Yep. You are very high vibrational right now and you are navigating and dealing with everything very beautifully it's incredible there's so much good energy here so much positivity so much to be grateful for so much to look forward to that you are going to create and there's a wisdom about you you know that hey it may, it may take time but you've, you've got the time okay so wonderful reading group number two let me know how you get on in the comments below and I look, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you're in the right place. Let's see, I'm just going to put this back in. And we're going to take one from the Art Oracles, the new deck. Oh, I'm loving this deck. It's really cool, actually. Just started using it with you guys. And the first two groups are were great. It's a really nice deck as well. I hope you're having a good week wherever you are. Oh, by the way, if you are in a difficult place in the world, like in Florida or something like that, my heart goes out to you. Um, yeah, it's there. There are some challenges happening around the world at the moment. Um, so it's good to. Take time out, unwind with a picker card, you know, because every little bit of peace that's going out into the atmosphere, it, it makes some difference, I believe, to the whole. So by relaxing with a picker card, you are actually doing the world a service. Isn't that incredible? That's what I always tell myself. <laughs> Sometimes I don't watch them as well because they are addictive. So be sure to not get addicted to pick a card. <laughs> know when you need to take a break as well. I do that sometimes. I just don't watch any pick a card or anything because I don't want to be influenced by things sometimes. All right, let's see what comes through here. And here in Sydney, Australia, it has been cold. It has been rainy. But, you know... It's been good too. All right, let's take three of these. I do like to shuffle all at once. I find it easier somehow. Because last week I think I tried the whole thing of let's read the oracle cards first. I don't know, that doesn't work for me. <laughs> I'm liking this structure that I currently have. But I will end up playing with this structure as well eventually. I'll, I'll try new things because I usually... I usually do something for a little while and I'm like, oh, I need to change it. <laughs> I almost changed it this week. I had a new spread idea, but then I was like, no, let's, let's go with the standard for now. Okay, let's see what comes here. Interestingly, nothing flipped over. Right. So I shall begin. I think I'll begin here. Do something different. Oh, nice. Gentle gardener, beautiful. Well, maybe that's you. <laughs> what are you looking at? You're looking at these beautiful eggs that are, are they hatching? They kind of look like they're hatching, or they're little fairies sitting on the eggs, I think. Gentle gardener, okay. 
Nice, beautiful start. Oh, interesting, Joseph. Now, is that Joseph Boys? Is that how you say that? I'm not sure. You also contribute to humanities. Just some, okay, something work. <laughs> Just some, something work. Is that German? Kind of looks German. Make sure your rabies shots are up to date. Okay. Symbolism is just one ambulance ride away. Right. And you've got, interestingly, this masked, what well, you could call it masked, I mean, the whole body is masked person with a walking stick coming out. All right. Interesting. A dog is barking. That does look like a rabbit, doesn't it? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Let's take a look. Let's see what else we've got here. So already we've got quite a contrast. We've got Gentle Gardener and this interesting thing going on. Okay. Um, two of Swords, Decisions. Right. Decisions. I typically tend to read that as confusion. Queen of Discs, Nurture. Interestingly, we had the Empress pregnant just in group two in the exact same spot. Fascinating. Okay. Prince of Wands. So I think this would be the Knight of Wands, if I've got that right, because I think it'll be a princess who would be... Let me just check this deck and see, is there a princess? Prince, princess... Princess of Wands, yeah, okay, so that is the knight. Okay, interesting. Knight of Pentacles, right. Interesting again. Tower, whoa, okay, cool. Tower moment. Mm, and the Three of Pentacles. Well, in answer, what do you have to be grateful for in your now, for example? I would say you are to queen of pentacles. So probably materially, everything is just fine for you. Gentle gardener, you're tending to your garden. You're growing your empire or what it is you do. You're enjoying that. You're working. Okay, that's really good. But there are some very interesting energies here. There's confusion. There's something that's really taking time that you're probably not sure about. And maybe you have to make a decision. Maybe it's up to you to decide what you want to do about this situation. Prince of Wands, Knight of Wands, instigation. There's fast-moving energy here. And I'm kind of getting that you could act very irrationally or something at this time, possibly. We're going to clarify this and that that is interesting. <laughs> Why is that showing up? Okay. There's some contrast in here. So you do have a lot to be grateful for, but that you do have quite a bit uh, that... Perhaps you're confused about, you're doubtful about, you're not sure. You could act irrationally or do something maybe, I sort of want to say, I don't want to say a bit silly, but it could be a bit silly actually. Knight of Wands can be a bit silly. Let's have a look. Knight of Wands, what's going on there? Wow, Mars in the ninth house. Okay. Conflicts with authority is self-made, good imagination, intelligent street smart, long distance travel, separated from father, discovers independent spirituality. This matches here. Again, it's this hot, fiery energy of you just wanting to do something. You just being like, and maybe there's some, maybe there's some situation that you're just tired of or you're just sick of it. You're just like, you want to break free. And you're like, well, nothing's happening there. And I'm, yeah, I'm getting this, I want to break free. I want to break free. 
Okay, I want to clarify for that, but I also I do want to see what are you breaking free from. Let's all right. Let's take one from here. What are you breaking free? From? What do you want to break free from? Eight of Swords. Anger cannot be dishonest. Marcus Aurelius. Jupiter in Gemini. Okay. Again, we've got red. We've got this fiery thing going on here. Anger cannot be dishonest. Eight of Swords is typically a victim card, right? And the reason I put this anger cannot be dishonest here is because sometimes you shouldn't feel bad if you're a victim because maybe, yeah, your anger might be justified. Um, anger is, is honest, right? And anger is kind of like a step up. From, because if you're if you're way down on the scale, you're depressed and you you're not even able to act. And they say that when you're healing, you'll actually become angry when you're on your way up and out of something. So good is what I'm saying there. I think you probably need to speak up or be angry or you know uh, that's probably necessary. Let's take one here and then yeah, we'll take another one why is joseph and i don't even know who to pronounce it is it boys i need to look this guy up <laughs> let's have a let's pick a clarifier for joseph why is that here jupiter in the 11th okay Excels in finance, entrepreneur, brilliant intellect, loves music, rich, lives long, famous, courageous, teaches children beautifully. You contributing to humanities, something or other. <laughs> Are there any Germans in the audience? And we do have some. Um, please let me know. I know there are people in, well, there are people in the Netherlands, Switzerland. Uh, and yeah, no, we do have some people in Germany, if you're here. Uh, make sure you're... Hmm, okay, Jupiter in the 11th. This is a puzzle. Well, and, I mean, because this is success and expansion and growth and network and this is your creativity and your art and all that kind of thing. Take one more for this. Jupiter in the 11th, Joseph Boys. Devil. Wow, this is interesting. Group three, what is going on here? Uh, devil, I count him braver who overcomes his desires than him who conquers his enemies. For the hardest victory is over self, Aristotle. Yes. That's, I'm kind of getting this phrase like inner, inner, you're battling your inner demons at this time, possibly a bit. And I do see that you're going, you're going to win. The light will win. You're a light being. That's all you're into. So I'm not concerned, but you are battling some yeah, inner demons, something like that. Let's see, what's what's the confusion? What, let's have a look here. <laughs> what are you confused about? What do you need to make a decision about? What are you confused about? Okay. Mm, nope. What are you confused about? Kate in the eighth. All right. Philosophical outlook. Wealthy, lives long, lower digestive issues, seeks support, finds it hard to get. Questions mother's affection. Kate in the eighth. It's like you're, it's like, well, it's something hidden. See, up, upstairs in the reality of your life, things are actually quite good. Mm, but tower moment, it's kind of, and I'm, oh, I'm also getting the thought that like, when things go wrong, you throw away a piece of yourself and there's not a lot of you left. And it's kind of like you need to reclaim yourself. 
and who you are. Get one more here from here. You need to reclaim who you are. Something hidden, clearly. And as I said, inner demons or it's something in the darkness, in the shadows that you're battling with or you're grappling with. Oh, tower again. No way. Oh, this is so interesting. You're normally my very chilled out group, group number. We'll have a look at this tower moment as well. Why is the tower showing up twice? Do I even want this deck? Oh, let's have a look here. Maybe I want a different deck. Let's take one from here. For this tower moment, what's going on? Ace of Wands, okay. Well, this is all happening, I guess, for you to find your spark again. How are we doing on time? We're okay. We'll go over time. It doesn't matter. Um, this is good. This is None of all this that you're going through is without reason. I'm getting the words, yeah, it's kind of thick. It's murky. It's not great. It's difficult. You're such a light being though, and I, this, I also feel like this is your higher self that's pulling you out, or your future self that's pulling you out. But you've had to go through all of this, and this is dark energy, and it's difficult, and you've had to wade through all of this, because by wading through it all, it's like, then it's like, um, yeah, the, the flame can come alive again, you know? And that's what we have here. This, it's like if you're going through some kind of gandanta or some sort of uh, very difficult thing, I would say. Whoa, group three, this is an intense reading. Mm, this darkness, let's have a look here, because this is deep water, but then a gandanta happens and you've got this fire. And this fire here, is your leadership. So the gift that you will uncover through all that you're mm, going through is your leadership. There's like a massive leadership gift that you're birthing or that you are uh, realizing or will be experiencing or will be experiencing. I think I just said the camera just cut out. And it's, it's about you just keep working, you keep chipping away. You keep chipping away, you keep chipping away. And leadership, let's take a look at this. In the future, you pulling you out. Leadership, you're chipping away. The future, you's pulling you out. Okay, though in the 12th. Often leaves country of birth, psychic ability, spiritually powerful. Yes, that's true. Lack of sleep, restless mind will get comfort and luxury. Mm. Leadership. That's a really good card, by the way. <laughs> but I'm just... Ace of Cups, yeah, okay. You're... 
it's very good, <laughs> but like it is, it's like you've, you, you're having to wade through a lot of complex, difficult energies right now. You've got two tower moments on the table, you've got the devil, you've got this weird thing, <laughs> you've got eight of swords. I mean, this has been full on, two Ketu cards in hidden, watery places. But you're, you're getting to this, you're getting to your Ace of Cups. And I think what you're doing is you are, and this gentle gardener, I know who this is. This is the future version of you. And this future version of you is like kind of this very old, frail version of you, but who is extremely kind, very funny as well, has lived, okay, like has lived, has done it all, cracks jokes, really funny, she's charming, she's incredible. And she knows where you are and this is you okay this is your future version of you it's very old very old 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 future version of you who sees where you are knows where you are understands and is allowing you to go through it because she knows she's going to pull you through she's not going to let anything get too bad for you and you're coming out you will emerge holding this Ace of Wands and this Ace of Cups, you will emerge victorious, creative, better than you've ever been, more amazing than ever. So just keep, keep going. Group number three, some tough stuff here. This is, this has been a, this, this is a full on reading. Yeah, big energy. You'll get there. You get to your Ace of Cups. It just might take some time and it might be that you have to wade through some really difficult, complex stuff that nobody else is going to understand. And remember that anger is healing. You don't need to give your anger to anybody. Um, give, it, give, it, give it to your future self to transmute or your, give it to the sky or through art or, you know, um, exercise is really great too. Shake it out, you know. Put some music on and dance and get get rid of all that old energy. I would rather adjust my life to your absence than adjust my boundaries to accommodate your disrespect. Yeah. Yep, good. Like it. It's a strong statement there. One that you yourself, your future self, knows how to make. Okay, so you've done it. Maybe not yet, but you're about to do it, right? If you have to do something like this. Yeah, this is great. Everyone is trying to find the right person, but nobody is trying to be the right person. Yeah, and what you're trying to do is you're trying to be the right person and you'd rather be the right person and wade through all this mess and be true than be fake, than be dishonest, than cheat, than steal, than take something that you never earned. You're not that person. You're this good person who's trying to be the right person. You're doing the real authentic work. Absolutely amazing group number three. I can feel so strongly that your future self is massively proud of you and is looking after you. Really, it's so incredible. Sometimes when I've read these stories of uh, future selves, and it's so interesting that that German word has come up, which I can't pronounce, because it's making me think of Natasha Kampusch, who her future self got her out of a difficult spot. She was stuck in a, I think it was like a basement or something for many years. Uh, with this incredibly controlling man, it was horrible. And um, she has this amazing story about how her future self shows up and gets her out of that situation. So you've got a touch of your future self coming in that's saying, don't worry, I've got your back. I'm looking out for you. Nothing's gonna hurt you. And keep being true, keep being honest move through these emotions and it's okay to be angry it's okay 
everybody goes through this stuff. You're not alone. And you're going to make it out. Not only are you going to make it out, but my goodness, you're going to be, you're going to have a good time once you're, once you're out. Okay. So group number three, I am sending you a lot of love and healing energy and light and holding the space, huge amount of belief uh, that is here in you. Okay. There's a lot of belief in you from your future self. From all of us here, you're going to be fine. All right, well, let me know how you get on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you if this was you and it resonated. Um, and I look forward to seeing you next time.